Hey guys, brand new episode, brand new day. Uh, the weather is finally starting to feel like fall. I'm looking here into the trees and I actually can see a little bit of color uh, in the leaves. I don't think that's due to fall, but we've been really dry, so that may be causing that too. But we are in that season. It's uh, mid-September and I'm um, getting back in the fields. The weather has finally cooled. You can see we're getting in that season where everything's starting to die off. You can swing the detector in here a lot easier. And I'm hunting in a Civil War area. Been here a lot. Um, not in this area particularly. I have a ridge behind me that I want to hit. You can see it through the trees there. I think there was some Union troops during the Civil War in this area position, but I don't know until I go up there. So we're going to hit that in a minute. Um, I do have a target I'm going to show you guys real quick. But I just wanted to get you guys uh, caught up on where I'm at and what I'm doing. And uh, let's get going. So I'm using the Mine Lab, the Equinox, set up in field mode two, uh, multi frequency today. Uh, sensitivity, we're going all the way up. It's so far been pretty stable. Um, so yeah, ground balanced out and everything's ready to go. And just got a lead target here. I thought I had a Civil War bullet because they do have, I have found bullets in this area, but this is really bizarre. It is lead and it has an XS letters on it. I'd have no idea what this is. It has to be old because it's lead and it's got that white patina that you see from the ground. It had to be in the ground for a long time. I don't know what this is. I don't know if it's Civil War related. Um, it's probably one of the weirdest things I've found because I don't know exactly what's going on here. Huh. All right, let's keep on moving. I also wanted to show you this. I did get this little old uh, rivet a minute ago. It rang up a 12. Probably thought it was a nickel because of the size. Um, this very well could be from a soldier's, uh, it's like a grommet to a poncho or a tent. Um, I've dug these in this area before you see these dug out of campsites Who knows it does have the age and it's I think it's like Copper maybe brass. I don't know But yeah, it ring up low, but because of the size I got my hole dug I was getting a weird number on this target. It was like a 10 to 13 um, I figured it was gonna be iron, but I went ahead and dug it anyway. Sometimes iron's cool And it is a cool piece. It's uh some kind of old iron piece hand forged iron it's like a hook a hook thing maybe to hang on the wall i have no idea but it's definitely an old piece and i like it i like stuff like that i know it's just iron but somebody used this at one time i don't know maybe it was part of a chain um there is a farm here so who knows but yeah the farm here dates back to the 1750s pretty old the woods is right there. I thought about going in there, but the mosquitoes are terrible right now. I went in there for a minute and got ate up. Um, but So I just started swinging here on my way out of the woods. And uh, yeah, I think I might have a Civil War bullet there. I'll show you what I'm getting here. It was just barely under the surface there. Constant 16, 17. When I, I uh, dug the hole and I pushed the dirt up, I seen white. Oh, I'm not saying I know for sure because it could just be like a musket ball, but it looks like it's pointed. All right, here we go. Yes, indeedy. That's a nice one. That's a drop. Wow, that's a beautiful Civil War bullet. Look at that nice three ring. <sighs> Have to get the dirt out of there and see if it's a uh, star base. I don't believe it is. It's probably just going to be a regular three ring uh, mini ball from the American Civil War. Pretty cool. Dover. Ow. Stinking thorns. Um, I moved over just about five feet from where that Civil War bullet was. And I'm getting a good signal here. here. Get that signal. Constant 24 and then a 25. It's gotta be something good. And it's not in there very deep, but see on these on this machine these triangles each one represents two inches okay so when we're swinging over it getting two triangles three so it's two or three inches or about four to six inches down there so 
So let's go ahead and dig it together. Sorry about the shadow here. The sun is at a lower angle in the sky this time of year. It's getting towards fall. Like I said, I'm excited. Um, I'm probably gonna hunt the water again because it's not supposed to get real cold. Hold up, what is that? Is that a button? You guys see that? Right there. Oh my, the Civil War button. Right there. And that's in good condition. I can still see some of the gilt on it. The eagle still has a little shine to it. Wow, that is a Civil War uh, general service button off the uniform. Man, they don't usually come out that clean. It's down in there about four or five inches like you see on the machine on the triangles. Sweet. The, bu the bullet was just behind me right over here. See, literally right there. That's the hole for the bullet. And I swung over here and came over here. I had two targets. What I do sometimes when I'm out here detecting, if I get multiple targets close together, I will just mark them and then I'll come back and dig them. So I dug that one, then I dug that one, then I'll fill all my holes. I want you guys to think I'm not filling my holes. I always do. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to see if there was, usually when you find a bullet, there's other stuff in the same area. So that's pretty cool. I'll take that all day. And I got a solid 13 on the machine. And I didn't think too much of it because I started seeing this rusty stuff. A lot of times you start seeing that, you think it's going to be iron. I mean, there could be some iron in there, a nail or something. Sometimes that stuff masks the targets. I see something down in there, though. There's a little bit of rust down on this side, too. But what do we have here? An old button, maybe? A little flat button, maybe just a piece of, maybe a coin. Let me get it cleaned up here. I think it's going to be a flat button. There might be some silver color on that one. Let's clean it up a little bit together here and I will get back to you. That is exactly what it is. Um, this is going to be a late 17, early 1800s uh, flat button for a small jacket or uh, who knows what, maybe a piece of clothing, a woman's dress. Um, but you can still see the, the silver coming through on the outside rim that's called silver wash that's just basically another word for silver plating in the back the shank is gone and there's this wheat design that comes around the outside a wheat pattern that comes around they usually had that on the back of these buttons sometimes and there's a back mark but i can't read it but yeah there's a little bit of the silver silver wash color still on this button this is a really fancy button at one time just found this on my way over here uh gave off a nice 1718 that is a fired civil war bullet you can see where the base would have been right here where my thumb is and it had a really really massively hard impact of whatever it hit could have been a person could have just been the ground looks like a ground shot to me i mean seriously that is a hard impact i've probably never seen one that mushroomed before but you can see the base it's clearly a bullet civil war bullet it's got that white patina all right um but yeah like i said we're getting out of here it's been a good day hasn't had a whole lot of we haven't had a whole lot of finds but it is just gorgeous the weather's perfect um like i said i plan on getting in the water again probably a couple more times as long as it stays nice it's supposed to be in the 70s the water takes a little while to get cold so we'll we'll see how that goes we'll see you guys on the next one take care